Hi, this is just Sparky over here. Okay, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use um, on delay timers, one of the most popular um, instruction blocks to use in PLC programming. Okay, so I already got an input in here and an output here. Uh, disconnect to a normally open um, button. Disconnect to a um, 200, uh, 24 volt light. Okay, so what I'm going to do, get an instruction block, drag it in. And then from our list of things, we're going to pick the on delay timer, the ton. Okay. Okay, so with the ton, you got the in, of course, the out. Basically, it's just a um, contact. So you got it elapsed time here, preset time. Once elapsed time meets, meets the preset time, then this will close. So uh, we don't touch this one. I think if you try to touch this one, it's just going to start from the time you input and uh, I don't know why what's the point of that when, when you want it to always start at zero and preset time has a weird syntax to it clap in T hash and then how many seconds you want for this I'll put 10 seconds and second S for seconds okay so only problem with this I'm gonna have is that um, this is a push button so unless I want to hold it down for the timer to work then the timer won't work and if I just push it in and out straight away, so I want to create a, I want to create a latch for it. So to create a latch and you create a new rug, to create a new rug. I just drag a new rug in. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this over. So Control C, Control V, and then over here we're gonna create a new coil. Okay, this is, this coil is not gonna be connected or anything. We're gonna create a new variable here. Okay, so. Okay, we better start, start it here and call this latch. Okay. And then we're going to name it latch. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, just make sure you add that variable in the list or else this will come up with the exclamation mark and it's going to not compile because of building errors and you don't want that. Okay, so when this activates, activates the latch. And when the latch activates, we want it to okay so drag a branch here and then we're gonna drag a direct contact here and add latch okay so this okay when we turn this on okay they're exactly the same it's gonna turn on the latch when the latch turns on turns on turns on this which in t wait so Wait, the latch is gonna turn on that, and then we want. Oh, okay. We need to latch this as well, cause. Okay, see how logical this gets. So get a direct contact here as well, and type in latch. Okay, so latch, latch, latch. Okay, so everyone's happy. Okay, so let's download this and see how it goes. Building. Yes. Okay, change back to run mode. Okay, let's go into debug, debug mode and see this baby work. Okay, so as you can see, we've got power not going to it at the moment. Okay, we're gonna press this button. Starts a timer, timer's counting up. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten, reach ten seconds and it boots up. Okay, so only problem with the ton is that it doesn't have a reset. And the way the ton resets is if you take power off it. Okay, just say you want to take power off it, you'd create another, you'd create either uh, emergency stop on the back, normally open on the back, or, or normally closed on the back, which you just press, releases it, and then yeah, it starts the circuit all over again. As soon as you take power off the in, it's going to back, the elapsed time will go back to zero seconds. Okay, so this is just Sparky. This is how you, this is how you program in a ton on delay timer. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.
comment any uh, questions you got about this or any statements uh, please like this video and I'll see you next time